You're at the McDonald's drive-thru. You order a Coke. First sip, crisp, sharp. More intense than the Coke you had at another restaurant yesterday. Same exact brand, same red can imagery, different taste. You've noticed this your whole life, but never questioned why. It's not your imagination. McDonald's Coke actually is different, chemically different. Coca-Cola engineers it that way because McDonald's is Coca-Cola's largest customer globally. And that relationship comes with perks other restaurants don't get. Let's explore the process. McDonald's and Coca-Cola have been partners since 1955. Ray Kroc's first franchise. The alliance was strategic. McDonald's needed beverages served quickly and consistently. Coca-Cola needed distribution at massive scale. Today, McDonald's sells more Coca-Cola than any other restaurant chain worldwide. Billions in annual syrup purchases. That volume gives McDonald's negotiating power. Not just on price, on product specifications. They demanded better fountain Coke. Coca-Cola built custom systems for them. You've been to other fast food chains ordered Coke. It was fine, drinkable, but never quite matched McDonald's. Those restaurants get standard fountain equipment. McDonald's gets custom infrastructure. Start with water. Fountain Coke is roughly 90% water, 10% syrup, and carbonation. Water quality determines everything. Every McDonald's location has reverse osmosis filtration that pre-treats water before it touches Coke syrup. You've tasted tap water in different cities. Some metallic, chlorinated, mineral heavy. All of that affects fountain drinks at normal restaurants. McDonald's strips impurities out. The water hitting their syrup is nearly pure H2O. Neutral baseline. The syrup flavor becomes pronounced because nothing competes. Here's the kicker. That filtered water is pre-chilled before mixing with syrup. Most fountain machines mix room temperature water with cold syrup. Temperature fluctuation. Inconsistent carbonation. McDonald's chill water in insulated stainless steel tanks before it reaches the fountain. The entire system stays cold. More CO2 dissolves in cold liquid. More carbonation means sharper bite. Standard Fountain Coke uses 5 to 1 ratio. 5 parts water, 1 part syrup. Coca-Cola's recommended formula. McDonald's doesn't use standard formula. They negotiated slightly higher syrup concentration. Why? Ice melt? You've ordered Fountain Coke and within minutes, ice starts melting. Dilution begins immediately. The drink gets weaker as you consume it. Standard 5 to 1 ratio accounts for some dilution, but not McDonald's level of ice. McDonald's uses a lot of ice. Their cups maximize ice volume. The higher syrup ratio compensates. As ice melts, the drink dilutes towards standard Coke flavor instead of below it. You're tasting proper concentration from first sip to last. Other restaurants start at standard and drift to watery. The formula isn't drastically different. Maybe 5.2 to 1 instead of exactly 5 to 1. But that slight increase, combined with ice strategy, maintains flavor consistency. You've noticed McDonald's Coke tastes the same at the bottom of the cup. That's engineered. Most restaurants store Coke syrup in plastic bags inside cardboard boxes. Bag-in-box system. Cheap, easy to replace, but plastic is permeable. CO2 slowly escapes through plastic over time. Syrup arrives carbonated, then gradually loses fizz before mixing into drinks. McDonald's stores Coke syrup in stainless steel tanks. Sealed. Zero permeability. CO2 stays locked in until the moment of dispensing. You're getting syrup at peak carbonation. 
Other restaurants serve syrup that's been sitting in semi-permeable plastic for days or weeks. The tanks also maintain consistent temperature. Plastic bags fluctuate with room temperature. Stainless steel tanks are insulated and temperature controlled. Cold syrup plus cold water plus maximum CO2 retention equals the sharp, crisp bite you associate with McDonald's. You've probably never thought about the straw, but McDonald's has. Their straws are wider diameter than industry standard. Not by much. Maybe half a millimeter. Seems trivial. It's not. Wider straw means more liquid per sip. More liquid means more CO2 bubbles hitting your tongue simultaneously. More bubbles means stronger carbonation sensation. You're physically getting more coke per pull. The sensory impact is measurably different. Other restaurants use narrower straws to save on material costs. Fractions of a cent per straw multiply by billions of straws annually and its significant savings. McDonald's calculated the opposite. The enhanced Coke experience justifies the marginally higher straw cost. You taste the difference even if you don't consciously register why. So, is McDonald's Coke objectively better? Chemically, yes. Lab analysis would show higher carbonation levels, purer water composition, more consistent syrup concentration. The physical differences are measurable. But taste is subjective. Some people prefer less carbonation. Some like their Coke slightly flatter. The better label depends on personal preference. What's not subjective is that McDonald's Coke is engineered differently than Coke anywhere else. The chemistry is distinct. You've probably had the experience of drinking Coke at McDonald's, thinking it's exceptional, then trying bottled Coke at home and feeling disappointed. That disappointment is real. You're comparing two different products. One is optimized fountain Coke with custom specifications. The other is mass-produced bottled Coke designed for shelf stability, not peak freshness. Next time you're drinking McDonald's Coke, you're not just tasting nostalgia or brand loyalty. You're tasting the result of a 70-year partnership that gives one restaurant chain specifications nobody else gets. Pre-chilled filtered water, stainless steel syrup tanks, adjusted ratios, wider straws, every variable optimized. The Coke at other restaurants isn't worse. It's just standard. McDonald's is custom. Same brand, different engineering. And now when someone says McDonald's Coke tastes better, you'll know they're not imagining it. They're detecting chemistry. McDonald's fountain or bottled? Which one wins in your book?